Hi, I'm Cassie and this is my model Lauren. Hi. Today we're going to be recreating the bold brown lip look from the Temperley Show at London Fashion Week. The first step for this look is to get on the brows, the big bold brows. So I'm going to use a pencil. I like to have a few different tones of eyebrow pencils because you might be needing a slightly lighter pencil through the inside corner and something a little bit heavier through the arch. I'm going to start with my darkest colour and it just gives a really nice soft natural finish. And then if you want to have a bit more colour and definition you can actually go straight on with the pencil. So I'm just going to use that on the outer corners just to draw in a few extra hairs. Now on the inner corner I'm just going to use a lighter pencil just so that it doesn't become too heavy and blocky. And using the comb you want to sweep the colours together and just brush the hairs up right. You start to brush the hairs up to go as full as they possibly can. And I'm going to move on to the next eyebrow. So that's our bold brow done. To match the bold brow, I'm going to give Lauren a bold lip. I'm going to start with the B Lip Primer and I just want to apply this all over the lips. This is going to give us a really nice base for the lip colour to go on top of. And now for the colour. If you want to apply it straight from the applicator, you can. I'm going to use a brush just to get really nice sharp edges. Whenever you're doing a bright lip, make sure you do a big smile like this so you can get right into the corners of the mouth. Now I like to apply one coat, let it dry and then go for a second. My tip with a coloured lip is to always start off with a lip colour that you know isn't going to budge. So I've used the liquid lip first, but then I'm going to change the texture. So if you don't like a matte lip, that's fine. We can go over with an actual lipstick and this is going to change it to more of a satin finish. Also by doubling up your layers, it does help things stay even longer. Now we've got our bold lip, I'm going to be adding a little bit of shine now to the skin. I'm using a mixture of oil with some high shine pigment so you can see when you mix those two together you get a really gorgeous gold sheen and this is nice to just pat over the highest points of the cheeks. So I'm just going to use my ring finger to press this product onto the cheek and take it up through the temple. And you can use a blending sponge just to soften off any edges. And there we have our bold brow and bold lip look. For more beauty trend tutorials, please subscribe to Superdrug Gloves. Bye! Bye!